In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was chaos and waste. Darkness was on the surface of the deep, and the Ruach Elohim was hovering upon the surface of the water. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light. God saw that the light was good. So God distinguished the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So there was evening and there was morning, one day. Then God said, let there be an expanse in the midst of the water. Let it be for separating water from water. So God made the expanse and it separated the water that was below the expanse from the water that was over the expanse. And it happened so. God called the expanse sky. So there was evening and there was morning, a second day. Then God said, let the water below the sky be gathered to one place. Let the dry ground appear. And it happened so. God called the dry ground land and the collection of water he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout grass, green plants yielding seed, fruit trees making fruit, each according to its species with seed in it upon the land. And it happened so, the land brought forth grass, green plants yielding seed, each according to its species, and trees making fruit with the seed in it, each according to its species. And God saw that it was good. So there was evening and there was morning, a third day. Then God said, let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures. Let flying creatures fly. Let flying creatures fly above the land across the expanse of the sky. Then God created the large sea creatures and every living creature that crawls with which the water swarms according to their species, as well as every winged flying creature according to their species. And God saw that it was good. Do you know how to press it? Just the red button? Is it on a square? Yeah, okay. So I'd like to tell you that what we say at Shabbat, we say, Baruch Atah Well, we hold up the glass, and we say, Baruch Atah, is this good? Baruch Atah, and we hold up the glass, and we say, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Barei Peri Hagafen. And then I'll read the rest, and I'm going to read the rest in English. It's, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. And then we say, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his mitzvot and was pleased with us and his holy Sabbath. In love and in favor, he guided us. A memorial of the work of creation, for it is the day opening to holy convocations, a memorial of the exodus from Egypt. For us did you choose and us did you sanctify from all the nations. Your holy Sabbath, with love and favor you guided us. Blessed are you, Lord, who sanctifies the Sabbath. Amen. Okay, let me just read that one line a little bit one more time. So we say, uh, we, we thank the Lord for guiding us in favor and love and his holy Sabbath. We thank him and we thank for him for as a memorial of the work of creation for this Shabbat. Then we bless the bread. And we say, Baruch the sun will be setting over there, and we say, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lechem Min HaOretz. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the bread from the earth. And then we add, Blessed are you, Lord our God, we thank you for Yeshua, who is the bread of life. Shabbat Shalom.